Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Adam and Eve, the rise and fall. I'm going to read. I'm going to read the scriptures to you, and let's begin right now. Uh, this is uh, chapter two. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. <clears throat> and on the seventh day, Elohim, Elohim ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. So that's seventh day. It's seventh day. It's a Sabbath. <clears throat> and Elohim blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it was he rested from all his work which Elam created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that Yahweh Elohim made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew, before, for Elohim, Elohim had not caused it to rain upon the earth there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And Yahweh Elohim formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. So mankind, we don't have souls. We are souls. And Elohim, Elohim planted a garden eastward of Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made Elohim to grow every tree that was as ple was as pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became four heads. The name of the first was Pigeon, that is, it which encompassed the whole land of Hevelah, where there is gold, gold, and the gold of that land is good. There is Delium and the oxen stone. And the name of the second river is Gion. The same is it that encompassed the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hidekel. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river, Euphrates. And Yahweh Elohim took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress and to keep it. And Yahweh Elohim commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in that day thou shalt eatest thereof, shall surely die. And Yahweh Elohim said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground Yahweh Elohim formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name of. So Adam, he named every creature that Yahweh brought to him. And Adam gave names to all the cattle and all the fowl of the air, to every beast of the field, but for Adam there was not one found to help me for him. And Yahweh caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took one of the rib, one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which Yahweh had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and wife and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, 
and we're not ashamed. Now we get to uh, the serpent. This is uh, chapter three. Now the serpent was more, more uh, tricky than any other beast of the field which Yahweh Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, as Elohim said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, unless you die. And the serpent said uh, unto the woman, You shall not surely die. So, when, when uh, the devil, he came in, he was uh, questioning the commands of Yahweh. And he was he was trying to trick Eve. He was trying to, you know, bring some kind of uh, animosity, you know. And when he said, you know, you shall not die, that's the first time, you know, the immortality of the soul. That's what the devil's talking about. You, immortality, you know, like I said before, the, the soul, we, we're not, we, you know... We are souls. We don't have souls. So immortality of the soul, you know, you shall not surely die. <clears throat> For Elohim doth know that in the day you eat thereof, of, that your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as mighty ones, knowing good from evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to her eyes, and a tree to be desired, to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them were both opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of Yahweh walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yahweh amongst the trees of the garden. They were scared. They were scared of him. That's what happened after their eyes were opened. And Yahweh Elohim called called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are you? And he, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And Yahweh said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldn't eat of? And the man said, The woman who gave us to be with me, she gave me the, of the tree, and I did eat. So he's uh, Adam's trying to blame the woman now. He's trying to get out. He's scared. He's, he's petrified. And he's making up excuses. And Yahweh Elam said unto the woman, What is it that you have done? And the woman said, The servant beguiled me, and I did eat. So now she's taking the responsibility, and she's throwing it on the, the serpent himself. It's his fault. And Yahweh Elohim said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. And I put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Now this is talking about this is a prophecy about the, the devil and the Messiah, the, the struggle and the battle, you know, between good and bad, you know, and it involves uh, the, you know, the assembly, Masonic assembly here, too, because the seed is Yeshua, but, you know, he's going to go after the remnant of the, the assembly in the future, like today and tomorrow. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow, thy conception and sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And to Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of the, thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake and sorrow, thou shalt Eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread 
till thou returns unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for dust thou shalt thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living things. And Adam also and his wife did Yahweh Elohim make coats of skins and clothe them. He, yeah, he, he made personal coats to clothe them. And Yahweh Elohim said, Behold, the, the, the man has become one of us, knowing good from evil, now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore Yahweh Elohim sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. And he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to the, keep the way of the tree of life. They, Adam and Eve was kicked out of the Garden of Eden, and they put a, put a cherubim there with a flaming sword to prevent them from re-entry. And uh, that was uh, the rise and fall of Adam and Eve and the fall of mankind until the return of Yeshua, which is going to be real soon. Um, so, you know, it said, you know, that says for itself in the scriptures, you know, what happened. And anyways, thank you again. Uh, please like and hit my notification bells and subscribe. Share this with everybody. You know, study your scriptures, keep keep the prayers going, and um, I uh, thank you again for tuning in, and with that said and done, shalom, peace out, till we meet again.